It's time for our daily devotion, daily daily of abiding in Jesus Christ. In the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. A daily devotional ministry project of Christo Dojino Gaga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 26, 2020 1 Corinthians 7 verses 20 to 24 Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Art thou called being a servant? Care not for it, but if thou mayest be made free, use it rather. For he that is called in the Lord, being a servant, is the Lord's freeman, Likewise also he that is called, being free, is Christ's servant. Ye are bought with a price, be not ye the servants of men. Brethren, let every man, wherein he is called, therein abide with God. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy the greater part of our Savior's life on earth was spent in patient toil in the carpenter's shop at Nazareth. Ministering angels attended the Lord of life as he walked side by side with peasants and laborers, unrecognized and unhonored. He was as faithfully fulfilling his mission while working at his humble trade as when he healed the sick or walked upon the storm-tossed waves of Galilee. So in the humblest duties and lowliest positions of life, we may walk and work with Jesus. The Apostle says, Let every man, wherein he is called, therein abide with God. 1 Corinthians 7 verse 24 The businessman may conduct his business in a way that will glorify his master because of his fidelity. If he is a true follower of Christ he will carry his religion into everything that is done and reveal to men the spirit of Christ. The mechanic may be a diligent and faithful representative of him who toiled in the lowly walks of life among the hills of Galilee. Everyone who names the name of Christ should so work that others, by seeing his good works, may be led to glorify their creator and redeemer. By Ellen White, Steps to Christ, pages 81 to 82. Our prayer for you today. Our Father in heaven, we humbly come to your presence with awe and reverence because you are our Creator, you are holy, and you are our loving Father. Thank you for sending your only begotten Son to this earth and he became one with us who died the eternal death in our place in order to save us from sin. Today, we pray that we allow him to dwell in us so that through faith in him his righteousness will become ours. Thank you for answering our prayer because we ask in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen.